I'm kind of scared of coffee because, you know, like when you're a kid and everyone is like, don't drink coffee, it'll stunt your growth. And I was a short kid already, so I was like, I'm not even going to try coffee in the first place. I need to hit that six foot marker at least. Yo, what's up, GQ? It's your boy, 24K Golden, and here are my essentials. All right, so my first essential item is this diptyque candle right here. When you're on the road or when you're in the house, it's just important to create a vibe, an environment that you feel comfortable living in, working in, having fun in. There's no better way to create a unique sensory experience than by changing, uh, changing up the smell. You know, we got this nice candle from diptyque. Really, really big, lasts a long time. It's just elegant and refined like it's not gonna smell like a, a seventh grade boys locker room but it's also not gonna be so light that you don't get any change in sense at all it's something like sweet but a little spicy so like a vanilla spice or something like that we try and keep it smelling nice when we can my next essential is a neck pillow these are perfect for when you're on the road. You know, this one right here is a more like a memory foam kind of vibe. This neck pillow right here changed my life. It was the cheapest one in the airport gift shop. I just tried it out and I was like, yo, this shit kind of hit different. It took me from not being able to sleep on planes at all to like, I can literally fall asleep anywhere at this point. Honestly, if I forgot my neck pillow, then I have to buy another one at the airport. And that's how I ended up with five. Not because I wanted to own five of them, but because I forgot it so many times at the crib, just leaving for an early morning or late night flight that I'm like, all right, I have to get something or else I'm gonna be up for five hours in this most uncomfortable position possible. And this one is obviously baked in case, you know, I just gotta flex a little bit, walking through the airport and I'm feeling like flexing extra hard that day. My next essential is yerba mate, okay? This is the lifeblood of my entire career at this point. I do a lot of shit every day and that takes energy, okay? And when you're waking up early and going to bed late, one thing you don't have a lot of is energy. So this is like all natural. It's from South America and it's just a better way to get energy and caffeine without getting a crazy amount of sugar or like some artificial weird stuff in there. It hits me pretty fast. I'm a lightweight, so I don't know. It might be different for other people. My next essential is socks. I used to be the type of kid when I grew up, I would just wear the straight Nike crew sock and have like the dirty ass bottoms cause I was running around everywhere with no shoes on. But you know, I'm a little older now, I'm a little more refined. And I, I understand that, that your socks matter just as much as the rest of the outfit. But these ain't no regular socks, these are cool socks, right? So these first ones I got right here, these are the custom 24K Golden exclusive Paperboy socks, okay? Money bag boys, we in this thing. For me, the most important thing when I'm buying my socks is design and comfort. If it looks good, but it doesn't feel good, I can't really wear it all day. But if it feels good and it doesn't look good, it's gonna mess up my fits. So, you know, everything's gotta be on point. My next essential item is skincare. First, we got this hyaluronic, hyaluronic, he, Hyaluronic, I don't even know how to pronounce this, serum, the secret weapon. And then we got, boom, the face cream for men. I don't know what the difference between the one for men and the one for women is, but it says for men, so I had to let y'all know. And then the enzyme cleanser. And you know, my skin's never looked better. I got into skincare because my mom and my sister have like really nice skin. And you know, I'm in middle school, I'm getting my first pimples, I'm like, yo, how do I get rid of this? And my mom's like, all right, don't worry. I'm gonna put you on. So I've always known that you gotta take care of your, your face. And a friend of mine, she knew Barbara and she was like, yo, you gotta try these out. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll try it out. Let me see what it, it's like. And my skin has never been so clear. These are just like super gentle. Everything smells good, like not too scented, but just like scented enough to feel fresh and relaxed. I feel like this is a commercial. Mi familia. This is a picture of my family. I think this was probably like almost a year ago. Wow. So this is my dad, this is my mom, this is my sister, and uh, this is my twin brother. I couldn't make it that day. No, I'm just playing, that's me. <laughs> so I grew up in San Francisco, California, as the cardigan implies. My family, we've always been really close. My parents are super supportive of 
whatever it is you want to do, just be great at it. And if it's making you happy, it's making them happy. My sister, she's like a volleyball aficionado and like a genius in school. I think she got like a 4.3 or something right now GPA. So props to her. I talk to my family like by text or FaceTime or call every week, really like multiple times a week. My mom is always hitting me. Sometimes, you know, even when I don't want her to, but she, she stays checking in. My AirPods. If you didn't know, I make music. So it's kind of important for me to be able to listen to music on a regular basis. And what I like about those ones in particular is when I'm traveling like on the plane or something like that, I can put the noise cancellation mode in and all the crying babies, all the turbulence, all the, you know, announcements is all drowned out and I can just listen to my music, fall asleep and vibe out. But every time I wake up off a, off an airplane nap, I have at least one AirPod missing, so I gotta be the guy like at the end of the flight digging under my seat looking for that left AirPod Pro, like help, like where the flight attendants, can you guys help me? That's me every time. The only thing I wish that they did that they don't do is connect to the actual airplane uh, TV so I could like watch movies and then listen to it on my AirPod and not have to use those janky ass $5 headphones off of the Delta flights because this is not it. Calvin Klein boxer briefs. A lot of people wear boxers, a lot of people wear briefs. Me, I can't do anything but the boxer brief. It's just the right combination of comfort, length, and aesthetic, to be honest. Briefs, they're way too short, and it's like, you look like you're still in fifth grade or something like that. Like, if you're a grown man wearing briefs, you need to, you need to check yourself, bro. Boxers, on the other hand, they're too stiff. They're not really that comfortable. Me, I like Calvin Klein because when you like reach up and uh, a little bit of your boxers show, it's like a little flex to the ladies, let them know, yo, these, these family jewels are, are, are surrounded by a delicate material. <laughs> And my final item is a book called Be Here Now by Ram Dass. And this is actually an original one. In this career of being an artist, it's easy to get caught up in, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff. There's the shows and the fame and all that. But I find that I'm most happy when I'm in the present moment, taking in my surroundings, the people I'm with, the things I enjoy. And this book is one of those things that kind of just keeps you in the present. I just find something new in there every time. Pick a random page and see what it's got to say to you. All right, that's it, GQ. Uh, thanks for checking out my essentials. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, stay golden. <laughs>